The day before World AIDS Day 2012, the third international conference on stigma was held in the nation's capital at Howard University and featured panels, presentations, and speakers from Indiana to as far as India. I spoke with Raven Lopez, an HIV peer educator who uses her personal story in dealing with stigma to empower those living with the disease and to help fight HIV-related stigma. I've been actually doing this outreach work since I was like the age of six years old. When I was in like in the ninth grade, you know, you know, when the first freshman year of high school, you know, you just worried about school. And, you know, the senior guy, he wanted to talk to me and I didn't want to talk to him because, as I said, freshman year in school. And um, he found an article of me that I believe it was the Paz magazine or the Seventeen magazine I was in. And um, he was like, you know, everybody that's so cool with Raven, y'all don't even know why. Like, do y'all know that she got the monster? It was the day before my birthday and I was in school. And when I walked into the lunchroom, everybody started throwing food at me. They started spitting on me. And it was just like, I felt like I'm in high school. Why is, this, why is the stigma still going on? Like, all my life I've been made fun of. I'm like, I figure, okay, I'm getting into high school. Kids are more educated about it. I said, nope. So, you know, when that had happened to me, it was just an eye-opener stating, it was telling me, you know what, Raven? You got to keep your feet down on the ground and, and show your peers that, you know what? You didn't ask for this, you know? It's just the best way to... to for them to understand is by teaching them and keep doing your work and just letting them let peers know that you know you didn't ask for this you you don't know what it feel I don't know what it feel like to be negative it doesn't matter how we got HIV we still all human we, it doesn't make us different it's just that we have a virus that you know that controls our body and because that don't make us less than you but that don't make us better than you at the end of the day we're still human people you know suppose if your grandmother or your grandfather or your mother or your uncle whoever could have it you're gonna make fun of them too. Educate yourself first before you say something stupid, basically. That's how I say it. If you don't know, if you don't know the statistics and if you don't know the truth, then don't open your mouth and don't say stupid stuff. Basically, that's how